things slow down Baby We took a trip, now we on your block And it's like a ghost town What's up y'all? It's your girl Kiara And I am back with another video and this video is going to be another movie review because you know your girl loves to do movie reviews because mm -mm -mm -mm. all i do is sit my sit on my couch in the living room and watch tv so i'm watching movies i'm watching series i'm watching all it i'm watching youtube i'm doing all it so might as well give my opinion about said movies and series this is just that i watch so um this movie review is going to be about the movie that came out as of today it would have been last week actually like a week ago and it was barbie movie i was so excited like once i seen the previews like two three months ago i was like yes man we need that thing stop playing with me because one, I, I ain't gonna say every girl has a, had, has had a Barbie, but every girl even, at least knows about Barbie. Like, even if you never got the doll, at least you know about her. You see what I'm saying? So, before we get started, spoiler, 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 spoiler. This is going to be a spoiler review. I don't think I'll ever do a spoiler-free review because I can't not spoil something. So. Before we get into it, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, share, all it. Because I know y'all want to support your girl. And without further ado, let's get into this movie review. Okay, so the movie starts out like before before time type um, intro. Where these little girls, they playing with baby dolls. Because the narrator said... Since the beginning of time, girls have, there, there has been dolls, but there's been baby dolls. There was never, you know, and then Barbie comes and she's wearing the, the original white and black striped swimsuit. That was one of the original Barbie dolls. And from then on, girls was like, forget them baby dolls. I'm finna give me a Barbie. And from what I remember, the Barbie was um, invented in 1959 by a lady named Ruth. Was it Hanley? I think it was Ruth Hanley. Excuse my, um, Handler. Excuse my air conditioning if y'all heard it come on. But Ruth Handler, the creator and inventor of the Barbie doll. And ever since the 19, ever since 1959, Barbies have been flying off the shelves. Um, out is that in the third. So, it was a whole little monologue about how Barbies came to be. And then it zooms over Barbies, Barbie land. And it's like, it's not Imagineer, but it's its own universe. Like it's our own, it's, it's another dimension type situation. And the main character is Margot Robbie. She is the stereotypical Barbie. Like she doesn't have a job, nothing. She's just, when you think of Barbie, this is who you're supposed to see right so the movie starts with her waking up making breakfast no waking up taking a shower getting dressed making breakfast all that stuff right and it got lizzo in the background singing pink which was she was basically singing what was going on in the movie at the time like she was actually singing what was going on and all the other barbies that live in the cul-de-sac with her they do the same routine every morning so she does this, she does all this. And when she gets in her car, she doesn't walk and get in her car. She like floats in her car because they're trying to mimic how girls play with dolls. You don't have them, you don't grab their legs and get them to walk. You pick them up and you put them where you want them to be. So they try to play on how girls would play with a baby doll or a barber doll. And so she goes to the, she ends up just going around town running errands. She went to a, um, a press conference with President Barbie, which is played by Issa Rae. That's my girl. That's my girl. I was so excited to see Issa at a bar. I was like, yes, so excited. I love Issa so much. Um, and then she went to um, a courthouse where she was sitting down observing. And then she went somewhere else. And she was, Barbie was just making her rounds, basically. And everywhere she went, she had a different outfit. Like, girl, where is the suitcase at? And, um... 
Then she went to the beach where she saw Ken. And apparently Ken was basically Barbie's accessory. He never had a identity of his own. That's going to play a big de uh, big role later on in the movie. Um, so Barbie, basically Ken's day did not go well if Barbie didn't look at him. Like Ken was made for Barbie and not the other way around. Get it together. And so they chilling at the beach, all that stuff. Ken hurts himself, but he gets better. Blah, blah, blah. There's different types of Barbies. There's Congressman Barbie. There's Dr. Barbie. There's Lawyer Barbie. There's um, Construction Worker Barbie. There's all these different professional from careers. And everybody's name is Barbie, by the way, except for like Midge and Skipper. Midge was the discontinued pregnant doll that kids that kind of got discontinued because parents did not want their children to know what pregnancy was. Even though it was going to happen sooner or later. Like, come on now. Like, grow up parents. Grow up. People people get pregnant every day. So, chill out with it. And then there was, another, there was a couple more discontinued dolls. But we'll get there later. So, at night... Barbara, Barbara about to have her little party or whatever. She have a party like she do every night. Basically, in this town, the day repeats itself every day. Just like the day before and the day after and on and so forth and so forth. And Ken just want a little love, man. Ken just wants some love. He thought that Barbie loved him. He thought that Barbie, him and Barbie was supposed to be like this. But they really like this. And Ken was like, can I stay over? And she was like, in the way. And he was like, I don't know. Whatever boyfriend and girlfriend do. She was like. And so she was like, I don't want you here. Just straight up. I don't want you here. Go home. It's girls night. And he was like, oh, okay. And he left. Then Barbie wakes up the next day. No, during the derp, the party, she was like, do y'all just feel like dying? And like the party stops. Like she's never had that thought before. And then she rephrases what she said in the party, continues going. The next day she wakes up, she feels like crap. Her breakfast was burnt. The shower was too hot or too cold. Um, and she fell off the roof of her house. And she was like, what's really going on? This and that. And then when she gets to the beach, she steps out of her shoes and her feet. You know how Barbie feet are arched to the gods. Um, her feet just feel flat. And so... She showed them to Dr. Barbie and everybody like went crazy and like Barbie was wrong with your feet. You need to get that you need to get that checked out. Like what's really going on? So they suggest that, that she goes to Weird Barbie's house. And Weird Barbie is the Barbie that children play with too much. And they start messing them up, like cutting their hair right on their face in permanent marker, putting them on whatever clothes they find, whatever. And for some reason, this barber was always in a split because the girl just had her legs in a split for no reason. And the uh, weird barber basically said to to heal this or to reverse this curse or whatever, you have to go to the real world and find who's messing with your doll. And so she she goes and. Um, Ken, played by Ryan Gosling, he goes. So they get there. She's feeling very objectified. And she was like, I don't like these. And Ken was soaking it up. Like, people acknowledge me. People notice me. They, you know, all this. And Ken goes to a place in Los Angeles? I can't remember. It was a part of California. I can't remember. But it was in California. And he went to this building where it was basically all men and so he was like this is where i need to be this is this is the definition of masculinity i need this so while barbie is still in the real world ken has went back to barbie land and done uh, put his idea off on all the people in barbie where men are the patriarchy men run men rule the world women just follow basically and so he ends up turning barbie land into kingdom and it's based off of horses and guys and hummers, basically. And so that he's basically turned kingdom, Barbie land, what America is really is, which is run by men. And so Barbie comes and she was like, I'm not leaving this place. I'm not finna submit to no man. You got me messed up. All the other Barbies was like, can I get you another drink, daddy? Like, stuff like that. I was like, this nasty. And so... Um, oh yeah, she ends up finding who was playing with her doll, which was the CEO secretary of Mattel. I forgot her name. 
she was actually the one playing with the doll. She thought it was the, the teenage girl who was hurting her, hurting my Barbie's feelings. It was a teenage girl. It was the mom who kept that Barbie and was just going through the motions and her feelings rubbed off on the doll. So she finds the mom, she finds the daughter. They go back to Barbie land and see everything is in complete mayhem. And Ken was like, now you see how it feels. Like, this is like, you basically made, you basically turned me into this. You wasn't caring about me. Ouch. Frick. You wasn't caring about me. You wouldn't give me no attention, none of that. So I went ahead and came back over here and I'm, I'm running this now. And now you got to do what I say. Period. And that was, she was like, no, I don't. Mm -mm. So she goes to Weird Barbie and they plot to unhypnotize these women with the speech that America Ferreira, whoever that is, whatever her name was in the movie, she played Gloria, the one who had the doll and stuff. She played, um, Gloria did this whole little speech that basically snapped all the Barbies out of their trance because basically she was like, you don't need a man. Get it together. We are women. We are powerful. Like, basically. And so she had to keep saying that to all the different Barbies to snap them out of their trance. And then once the Barbies were all out of their trances, they turned on the boys, on the Kens and Alan. Alan was cool. Alan was Alan was cool. He was played by um who was Alan played by? God, what was his name? I can't remember. He, oh, Michael Michael Sarah. He's so cute. Um and cause the guys were supposed to vote for the new president who was gonna be Ken, and then Kim was gonna have to be all be taking over and cow I mean um horses and hummers in terrible fashion. And so the girls had made the guys turn against themselves and they had did like a war type situation while the girls went to the White House and voted to keep the Barbies in charge because Kingdom was ne was never going to happen. And Ken apologized. He was like, I just wanted to feel attention. Da -da 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 -da. I just wanted you to love me, Barbie. And Barbara was like, I am so sorry. I, I'm sorry for, for having you feel like, you know, I'm sorry for leading you on and having you feel, think something that it was not, basically. And so they get back cool and everything. And Will Ferrell was a part of it. Will Ferrell was trying to put Barbara in the box, but Barbara said that. And I'm getting up out of here. And she ends up running into the ghost of Ruth Handler, who was the originator of the Barb doll. And I don't know why she had like a random room on the on a random floor of the building. I don't know. So they end up doing all that. And basically, Ruth gave Barbie the choice. She was like, either you stay here in Barbie land and continue living your life, or you go into the real world and see how it is. And she chose the real world. And basically she ended up choosing. It was a part in on the movie where Weird Barbie said, Barbie, do you want to wear the high heel and be ignorant to the real world? Or do you want to wear this sandal and go out here into the real world and see what it is or stay in Barbie land? And she was like, give me the, give me the shoe. Give me the high heel because I can't do this. She was like, no, you getting this sandal. And you go on, you go on, you do, do what you do. So she ends up choosing the sandal. And all that stuff, and this it was a it was a line in the movie that oh my god it made me cry it made me ball it made, it made me ball but like tears were falling uncontrollably, and it was said by Ruth because Ruth named the doll after her daughter Barbara called her Barbie, and what Ruth said made made uh, made chills shoot down my spine. She basically said. Us mothers stand still so our daughters can look back and see how far they've come. Ah, they got me, they got me in my feels. They got me in my feels. But it was really, really, really good. So Barbie ends up going into the real world and being part of Gloria's family, which was the doll, the owner of the doll. And it was so weird how it ended. She went to her first. We thinking, we thinking she would go to a job interview. She's going to her gynecologist. I'm like, what's they gonna do? Like, what's what's gonna go on? Like, I hope somebody explains that to me soon. And one of the other explains or ending explains or anything like that. Cause what gynecologist? I understand girls need to have their 
just to have that checkup and all that stuff but she got plastic down there what is really anyway um i rate barbie a seven or eight out of ten just due to the nostalgia factor of it it really had a message behind it um the plot was eh. um and the message the message oh it got me it got me it got me it got me um i wouldn't i would probably watch it one or two more times but it's not something i would just turn into something that i would make my kids watch or something like that but it was really good i give it a seven or eight let's go 7.5 just to make it give give it an actual number but what do y'all think leave y'all comments y'all opinions down below um make sure y'all like comment subscribe share all it because i know y'all want to support your girl um and like i say and like i always say i will see y'all in the next Bye guys. We took a trip, now we on your block and it's like a ghost town.